What's up guys? Welcome to another video of the course Dynamic Programming for Beginners. For the last few weeks we've been talking about the climbing stairs problem in which we had to find the distinct number of ways to reach the top of the staircase. It was a combinatorial problem because we had to count something. We had to count the number of ways to get to the top. And today I would like to review an optimization problem, which is another category of dynamic programming. When it comes to optimization, it means we want to minimize or maximize some function. So let's take a look. I thought that the best way to illustrate the difference between combinatorial and optimization problems is by simply modifying the, the climbing stairs problem. In the new version, instead of counting ways to the top, we're going to find the cheapest path to the top. When we say cheapest, it means we want to minimize cost. So when you see a problem statement asks you to find the cheapest, the longest, the shortest, the most expensive, and so on, in the majority of cases, it's an optimization problem, meaning, you can, meaning that you can try to apply the ideas of dynamic programming. So let's take a look at the paid staircase problem, which is how I decided to call it. Let's try to visualize this problem. I'm going to draw the staircase of size, um, of size 3, meaning that we have three uh, we have three steps three stairs um, so n equals to three we also want to say k equals to two meaning that you can take either one or two steps at a time and then we also want to introduce price the price that you have to pay every time you step on a certain stair right so we'll say p equals to let's say to get to the first step costs three dollars to get to the second step costs two dollars and to get to the last one is four dollars and we need to find the cheapest one right the cheapest route to get to the top so it's three four and I'm um, sorry three two and four awesome so let's use the framework to solve this problem the first thing we, we got to do here is uh, write down the objective function. So the objective function is f of i is the minimum cost to get to the i-th stair, right? I'm not going to write it, but, it, but that's what it is. Number two is identify base cases, right? So let's solve the problem when a computer is not even needed. f of zero, what is the cost to get to the zero step? It's zero because we don't have to pay anything, right? What about the first step? F of one is $3, right? So to get there would cost us $3. There is nothing else we can do. How much we got to pay to get to the second step? Well, we can go to the first step first and then go to the second one, but that would be $5 in total. Since we're allowed to make two jumps at a time, you know, we can just jump f straight to the second step and just pay $2. And then f of three, we don't have to calculate it, but just, you know, it's always good to do a few uh, calculations, a um, few base cases so that to have a better understanding of the problem and maybe you will also be able to devise the transition function. So f of three, we can jump from the ground to the second step right it would cost two dollars and then from the second step straight to the third to the last one it would be six dollars in total if we would go to the first step and then to the third it would be seven which is greater than six if we would go to the first to the second and to the third it's obviously even more expensive okay so the third step is write down the transition function and when it comes to transition functions um, i like to think about them in a way, basically from the from a perspective when the problem is always is almost solved. So kind of like from the end of the problem, where are we trying to get to? We're trying to find the cheapest uh, amount we have to pay to get to the top. So let's imagine we're already at the top, right? F of n. And what's the amount we have to pay to get to the last step? It's $4. So it's P of N, right? We have to pay $4 no matter what. We'll always have to pay it. So it's P of N plus, what else? Plus we have to be, uh, prior to the last step, we were either here on the, last, on the second step or on the first one, right? But we want to take 
we want to be at the one which costed us less, right? So we want the minimum between the two. So we'll say minimum between this is n minus one, right? This is n and this one is n minus one and this guy is n minus two. So we say f of n minus one and f of n minus two. And this is guys the transition function that we are going to use and four in which order we're going to solve this problem bottom up bottom up bottom up because we already have base cases here right and by using these base cases we're going to go up up to the n and then five where to look for the answer it's going to be in the last operation which is f of n now let's try to code it up and see how the how this whole thing looks in code all right so here is the template for the paid staircase problem you're climbing a paid staircase it takes n steps to reach to the top and you have to pay p of i to uh to step on the i on the ith stair each time you can climb one or two steps what's the cheapest amount you have to pay to get to the top of the staircase awesome so let's apply the same technique as we use uh, all the time so we're going to allocate memory for sub problems right for the solutions to our sub problems um, i'm not going to use any optimizations here so we'll just allocate n plus one now uh, now we want to to um, specify base cases, right? So as we said, when we are at the ground, we don't have to pay anything. When we step on the first stair, we want to pay P of 1, right? P of I. Um, cool. And now we can apply the transition function. So we can run, we can start a loop starting from 2 right because we're going to use i minus one and i minus two um, while i less than or equals to n i plus plus and then dp of i equals dp of i minus one uh, actually we need a minimum between dp of i minus one and dp of i minus two plus uh, the price we have to pay to step on i itself, right? Which is p of i. And the answer is going to be in dp of n. dp of n. Awesome, so that's pretty much it. Let's uh, run the test that uh, we used on the whiteboard. So n equals to 3. And then uh, to step on the first uh, stair costs three dollars, then two dollars for the second one, and four dollars uh, for the last one. And we want six dollars back, right? Awesome. So the test is green, meaning everything is good. Uh, let's do a time complexity analysis real quick. Uh, it's O of n right because this guy runs um, n times and we don't have any other loops um, and then space complexity we allocate memory for n elements so it's o of n again you guys can use the exact same optimization techniques we used in the previous lecture uh, feel free to do it as a homework uh, that's pretty much it for today. Uh, next lecture, I would love to reconstruct the path to this problem, which is a very popular uh, you know, question when you actually have to print out the path that you took uh, you know, to find the cheapest route. Uh, I'm super excited, so I'll see you next Sunday. Take care and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye, guys.